Some footage can be explained. For example, if you saw a clip of a cat, you could figure out what happened. Clearly, somebody just filmed a cat. We all know cats exist. No mystery there. But the clips we're going to show you now are a little trickier to explain. From an alien to a ghost to an alien to a ghost again. These are five secret videos skeptics can't explain. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Number 5. Flying Saucer in a Garage These 8 seconds of curious footage surfaced on YouTube back in 2011. My least favorite year, and I will not tell you why until we hit 5 million subscribers, and have been baffling the minds of people the world over since. Even skeptics can't quite wrap their noggins around this one. This video seems to show a genuine alien saucer. Now, we've seen all sorts of videos of alien saucers and UFOs on this channel before, so what makes this one so different? Here's the curious thing. Ordinarily, saucers such as these are seen flying through the sky, or maybe crashed into the ground. But this one seems to be parked up in some kind of large industrial garage, and it seems to be being looked after, even maintained, by humans. The saucer is huge compared to the humans bustling around it. It looks like a whole bunch of them could fit inside it. The logical assumption is that these people either found this UFO and are now storing it in secret storage, or are workers who have been tasked with looking after it by some kind of secret organization. As we said, people are struggling to figure out what is going on here, but the most logical explanation is obviously that this saucer was found, and for whatever reason, the government decided it was best to keep it secret. Maybe because they felt the ship was too scary and would freak out us plebes. Maybe they are simply planning to investigate the ship, and one day the information they ascertained will be made publicly available. There is also another theory doing the rounds regarding this clip. A lot of people have pointed out the saucers look to be in pretty good condition. There is no sign of a crash at all. This has led to a theory that this is not an alien flying saucer that has been taken by humans, but is actually a saucer of human origin. Maybe the men in this footage aren't studying the saucer, but building it. Theories that humans might have recently developed flying saucers aren't exactly uncommon. There's a bunch of theories about this sort of thing, although most of them are connected to the Nazis. In UFOlogy, conspiracy theory, science fiction, and comic book stories, claims or stories have circulated linking UFOs to Nazi Germany. The German UFO theories describe supposedly successful attempts to develop advanced aircraft or spacecraft prior to and during World War II, and further assert the post-war survival of these craft in secret underground bases in Antarctica, South America, or the United States, along with their creators. According to these theories and fictional stories, various potential code names or subclassifications of Nazi UFO craft such as, and please do excuse my attempt at pronouncing German words here, Rundflusser, Führerball, Discus, Hannebu, Hanneberg, Gerat, V7, Vril, Krugelblitz, Armada Gerat, Flugkreisel, Krugelwaff, and Reichsfixleib have all been referenced. Are Nazi flying saucers real? Could this be one of those saucers? Are the men in these photos Nazis maintaining the saucer? Or is there a far more rational explanation staring us right in the face? We obviously have no way of knowing for sure. That's literally the whole point of this video. But what do you guys think? Number 4. Ghost in Conservation Park The YouTube channel Fluffy Jet Toys uploaded this terrifying ghost video to YouTube back in of all months, October 2011. The uploader claims the footage was captured by a group of teens as part of a Halloween dare the previous year. The teens were supposedly exploring the Mori Alta Falls Conservation Park, northeast of Adelaide, South Australia, when one of them dared the others to climb up to a large cave. By this time, it was already getting dark, and none of them had packed a flashlight. As the teens approached the cave, a ghostly figure suddenly appeared before them. Frozen with fear, the group could do little except watch as the apparition continued to walk past. When this footage first appeared online, it caused quite a stir and even attracted the attention of the local newspaper, The Advertiser. According to the uploader of the video, it was reported that earlier that year, a man had died in the area where the teens captured the footage. Could this have been the ghost of the man? It would certainly add up, and the uploader certainly thinks so. The clip clearly does show a figure of some sort. The fact that the video has been uploaded to a channel more normally associated with generating content for children has given this clip an air of legitimacy. If it had been uploaded to a channel that's always churning out this kind of video, it could be suspicious. The thing about those ghost hunting sort of channels is that it seems like way too much of a coincidence that one person could keep over and over finding evidence of ghosts, but for a normal channel to accidentally find a ghost seems much more real. While the uploader maintains that this clip was captured by a group of teenagers who wish to remain anonymous, there is little information on how the footage came to be in his possession or why he decided to upload it to his YouTube channel. While the mystery surrounding the video remains to this day, 
It is definitely an eerie clip, and if it turns out to be authentic, it will likely be noted as some of the most compelling ghost footage ever captured. What do you think? Can you explain it? Genuine ghost or something different entirely? Number 3. UFO Over the Holy City And now we have yet another video from 2011. Clearly a lot of interesting things were going down that year. Not in my life, but again, I'll explain that when we hit 5 million subscribers. On January 28, 2011, several witnesses captured incredibly astonishing footage of a UFO flying over the Dome of the Rock on Jerusalem's Temple Mount. This fascinating footage was filmed by a whole bunch of separate people and really seemed to show something incredibly strange some kind of glowing orb that a whole lot of people think is a spaceship of some kind. The curious and mysterious glowing orb was seen clearly in the night sky before descending to within meters of the buildings below. It ominously hovered there for a few seconds before emitting an intensely bright light and descending at an incredibly great speed away from the bewildered onlookers. While the Israeli government dismissed the videos as likely hoaxes, no one has yet offered a definitive explanation as to what it was or how the video was made. Because the mysterious object appeared in such a holy place, many believe the UFO was a sign from God. Personally, I didn't know God was friends with aliens and could get help from them, but there we go. Lots of people have been trying to figure this footage out, but everyone remains pretty stumped. If you have any thoughts or theories, we'd love to hear them. Please do head on down to our comment section. Number 2. A Ghost in Eastern State Penitentiary And now it's time to move on from the subject of aliens back to the subject of ghosts. I'll tell you, this video is all over the place. Ghosts are always creepy, that's pretty much their whole deal. But spotting one in a prison? That's literally 80,000% times creepier. Trust us, we did the math. Yet what we have here is footage of exactly that. YouTuber Prosperous uploaded this clip to the site way back in June 2006, and many believe it to be some of the strongest evidence of the existence of ghosts today. I don't know what's more surprising, the fact that this video might just prove ghosts are real, or the fact YouTube existed in 2006. Did you know YouTube existed in 2006? I thought there were still cavemen back then. The footage is said to have been captured by the Atlantic Paranormal Society. While they were investigating the Eastern State Penitentiary in Pennsylvania, a prison often thought to be haunted. Although the clip is brief, it does appear to show some sort of hooded figure walking towards the camera. It then looks as though the figure notices that it is being filmed and quickly moves away. What is this peculiar thing? Nobody can quite figure it out. Nobody can quite explain it. But given that the Eastern State Penitentiary is often reported to be a hotbed for supernatural activity, the most logical answer seems to be that it's a ghost of some kind, and many paranormal researchers would agree. A lot of fans of all things occult believe that the figure seen in this video is indeed a ghost. Some have even likened it to the appearance of the Grim Reaper. Could it possibly be the actual Reaper, or just a ghost that looks a little like the Reaper? I mean, we don't know. If we did know, it wouldn't be in a video called 5 Secret Videos Skeptics Can't Explain. What do you think? Does this creepy clip actually show proof of a ghost roaming this haunted prison? Or is there another explanation for this mysterious figure? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Number 1. The Second Roswell Incident You know that a UFO of some kind crashed in New Mexico in 1947, but did you know there was another crash? 49 years later, in 1996, there was a second New Mexico crash, this time in White Sands. A peculiar white disc, looking almost like a cliché flying saucer type ship, hurtles toward the ground at breakneck pace. Well, we say breakneck, it proved to be more break ship. Upon hitting the ground, the potential spaceship bounced up into the air briefly, before hitting the ground with such an intense thud that this strange object shattered into pieces. It's an intriguing one to say the least. On the way hand, whatever it is does seem alien. Nothing known to Earth could bounce quite like that and remain intact, especially nothing falling from such a great height. What is this thing made of, tennis balls? And adding to the strangeness, look closely. The whole time it's crashing, it has a faint luminous glow. No asteroid would do that, no rock. But the mysteries keep on piling up. Pay close attention to the moments right before the first impact. You can just about notice that the UFO looks very much like it was trying to pull up the nose in order to make a belly landing. No meteorite would act with this kind of sentience, nor would any raining chunk of satellite. For the briefest split second, it looks as though whatever it is, is being steered. Someone inside is pulling at the controls, desperate to land as safely as they can. Of course, the bigger question is, why did a second ship crash in New Mexico? Is it a colossal coincidence? Is the ground there particularly magnetic or appealing? Or is this the mother of the original Roswell alien coming to pick him up 49 years later? Do you think you have an answer for any of these mysteries? And do you know of any other curious videos we should talk about in a future video? Let us know. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen now. See you next time. See you next